Hi, I'm Dr. Jason Kane, a pediatric intensive care physician at Rush University Medical Center in Chicago, Illinois. Hi, I'm Genevieve Fry, Manager of Patient Care Operations for the Cardiac Intensive Care Unit at Children's Memorial Hospital. This video was filmed in Children's Memorial Hospital in Chicago in partnership with the Society of Critical Care Medicine. The video you're about to see shows how transitions of patient care can be improved through structured and orderly communication processes. For more information on how structured communication can improve patient care and patient safety, please see the associated reference list with this module. As you watch the video, please pay careful attention to the interactions among the multidisciplinary team. You can see that there's a shared mental model and definite verifications of information to make sure that the patient is safely transferred. If your hospital or your ICU uses specific protocols, procedures, checklists, or other tools to facilitate interdisciplinary communications surrounding patient transitions, please feel free to upload those to the Learn ICU module at the Society of Critical Care Medicine website. Hey, Dusty. Hi. Um, are you going to be the bedside nurse taking the heart? I am. Okay, I'm going to be taking, I'm the APN that will be taking the okay. okay, great. Um, I just talked to the operating room, and it sounds like they're about half an hour from coming back. Um, they have been off bypass for a while, and the TEE showed a good repair, so they're in the process of closing the chest. Um, and everything's going well. So probably come back um, intubated and sedated and probably about half an hour. Okay, great. I've completed the room readiness tool and I've contacted all the team members. Um, the vent is set up in the room, so we're ready perfect. to go. All right, perfect. If Thank there's you. any updates, I'll come back. Otherwise, I'll see you there. Wonderful. Sounds good. Thank Bye. you. CSU, this is Dusty. Hi, Dusty. It's Heather in the OR. Oh, hi, Heather. Dr. Backer just wanted me to let you know we'll be rolling over in about five to ten minutes. The CICU fellow is here in the OR right now, receiving a handoff from him. I will be sure to page all the team members, and you'll be rolling in ten minutes? Okay, sounds good. Thank you. Thank you, everyone, for helping. Just so I'm aware of everyone's responsibilities, who will be my assisting nurse and who will be my charting nurse? I'll be your assisting nurse. I can set up your outline and CVP. Okay, great. I'll be your charting nurse. I'll take care of all the documentation since the patient arrives. All right, thank you. And Michaeline, do you have everything ready from respiratory? I do. I have uh, basic settings in the vent. Our end title is hooked up and our test line is on too. Okay, great. Thank you. Good morning, PQ staff. The patient has arrived for bed 228. The patient has arrived to the unit for bed 228. Hi, everybody. Hi. 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 Michaeline, our vet settings in the OR were standard vet settings. Okay. Are you, I'm happy to help you transition to the monitor. Okay, thank you. I'll get the blood pressure cuff. If you'll get the EKG leads mm -hmm. connected, I'll do the pulse ox as well. I can hit up the CVP and art line. Okay. Let me hand it to you. Thank you. And once you guys are finished, I can mm -hmm. hook up those mirrors. And I'm ready to zero the art line. Okay, I'll assist you with that. Kim, temperature is 371, excellent. Okay. Teresa, can you hook up the mirrors for me, please? Yes. Okay. And I'm ready for the CVP. Okay. okay. CVP is zero. Kim, the CVP is eight. Currently, we're on dopamine at 3 mics per kilo per minute. We are on milrinone at 0 0.5 mics per kilo per minute. And we are also on nicardipine at 1 mic per kilo per minute. So the patient is on the monitors, is stable on vent support, and a chest x-ray has been ordered. Is everybody ready for a report? Dusty, can you step away from the bedside? Yes, I'll have Sandy. Can you watch for my patient? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, thank you. I went to the OR to get the surgery report so I can pass on that information. Jackie Olson is a 13-year-old with a bicuspid aortic valve with moderate aortic stenosis. She has status post balloon valvoplasty four months ago. Over the last several months, she's been having increasing aortic regurgitation. And then the family will try to estimate later on what she wants to follow as well. Sounds good? Sounds good. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 
Yes, can you do me a favor and look at her pupil? She's a little hypertensive. I don't know if she's waking up or... Oh, absolutely. Okay. Yeah, her heart rate seems to be a little higher than it was um, about 15 minutes ago. Yeah, her pupils are 5 to 4. Okay, let's try 50 mics of fentanyl and 2 milligrams of Versa. Okay, I'm going to verify the doses that were already drawn up. So, 50 mics of fentanyl sure. and 2 milligrams of Versa. Perfect. Okay. Kim, 50 mics of fentanyl is in. Okay. And 2 milligrams of Versed is in. Okay. I see the EKG machine has arrived. I will go get it and uh, hook up the patient. That'd be perfect. Thank okay. you. I've charted everything up until this point. Is there anything else I can help you with? No, I'm okay. I'm all set. Thank you so much for your help. You can step away now. Okay. Do you need anything from me? No, I'm okay. I'm going to go okay. ahead and start my assessment. Thank if you, you need help. anything or if anything changes, feel free to page me or the CSU fellow. Okay, great. Thank you. Thanks, Dusty. Thank you, Kim. Thanks. Special thanks to all of the caregivers at Children's Memorial Hospital for their commitment to excellence and quality. For more information about the specific protocol that was established here at Children's Memorial Hospital, please see the May 2011 issue of Pediatric Critical Care Medicine. This video has demonstrated the following. Clear communication equals patient safety. Prepare by using standardized protocols for patient transfers. Establish team roles and duties. Good planning reduces delays and eliminates confusion. Two-way communication transfers authority and responsibility for the patient. Verify and read back. Closed loop communication. The importance of verifying that the transition of the patient is complete.